Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Sunday, December 4th, 2022, and I am here down at the shore because I have heard that the striper run this year has been pretty good. So I want to see if I can capitalize on that. But also, I am here because I want to break in the newest member of the Fishing with Lord Almighty team. This is a St. Croix Triumph, seven and a half foot, medium heavy inshore rod. And I'm hoping I can put this thing through its paces today by hooking up with some decent sized stripers. There's quite a few people fishing here this evening. And as I was walking in, I talked to somebody who said that there were fish close in and you can kind of see there's boats working out here, not too far from shore. So there may be some pods of fish moving in and out, which would be fantastic. <sighs> you know, I have such a love-hate relationship with striper fishing. I mean, I'll catch a big one or even a bunch of schoolies. And I'll think, wow, why don't I do this more often? And then I'll go out five straight times and not even see a fish. And it's like, oh yeah, that's why I don't do it more often. This is a very high risk, high reward thing for me to do. And maybe if I planned better, I do better. I mean, I'm not the kind of guy who follows the tides or reads up on reports or has a network of other uh, surf fishermen that they can call. I just go out where I feel like it, when I feel like it. And I have a feeling that that's not the quote unquote correct way to go about it. So yeah, that probably explains why my catch rates are so low when it comes to this sort of fishing. But you know what? I'm not complaining. I like keeping things pretty low impact, not having to put too much thought into it because it's fishing. You can't ever overthink it when you go fishing. That's almost a guaranteed failure right there. Well, most of the boats have bugged out. I don't see any birds working. I don't see any fish busting. I don't see any bait anywhere. So whatever action might have been going on earlier is probably done with. And who knows if it's gonna start back up again. That's another reason why I never do very well striper fishing, because I just can't figure them out. It's like, what are they going to do next? I never know. Are they going to stay far out? Are they going to swing in close? Are they going to be on the bait? Are they not going to be on the bait? Are they eating bunker? Are they eating sand eels? I mean, it's, you might as well buy a lottery ticket. Well, at the very least, it is a beautiful evening to be out here. We got mild temps, clear skies. The surf is pretty quiet. These are the kinds of times that I like being down here. I don't like being down here when the, when the rain is coming in sideways and the surf is really snotty and you got sea foam blowing in your face. I know some guys like fishing in that because they say it, it uh, fires the fish up, but man, if you're, if you're not catching a ton of fish and stuff like that, you're just going to be miserable all day. And I go fishing to have fun and relax, not to be miserable. Well, everybody, that sun has just gone down, which means we are officially entering magic hour. And that means that my chances of catching a fish just went up, if ever so slightly. But whereas my expectations were rock bottom, now they are slightly less so. Well, since I'm not catching anything, I might as well do an impromptu gear review of my new fishing rod. And so far, I like it. 
it loads up very nicely when I cast, which is something that I find is not always the case with medium heavy spinning gear. I've used a lot of them that are just way too stiff, but this one's got, this one's got a good action on it. And I'm throwing around, it's either like a three quarter or a one ounce cast master. And it's given me pretty good distance. It's throwing it just about as far as I could throw it with a, you know, a full length surf rod, a nine or a 10 foot surf rod. And it's pretty well balanced with the reel that I have. I've got it paired up with a, uh, a Daiwa Regal 3500. I'm using 30 pound braided line. And so far, nothing but good things to say. But you know what? I kind of expected that because it's a St. Croix. I mean, they're really my go-to brand for fishing rods. I own a bunch of St. Croix and I haven't regretted buying any of them. Hashtag not sponsored, by the way. Although, hey, St. Croix, if you're willing, hit me up. I wouldn't mind endorsing your rods since I use them anyway, and I really like them. Whew, man, it is looking dead out here. I see absolutely no signs of life except for other fishermen, and even the other fishermen are starting to thin out real fast. So, prospects are sinking fast. But I'm gonna keep at it for at least a little bit longer. Mainly because I have no other plans this evening. And when it comes to fishing, you never know. I mean, any second, literally any second, a pot of fish could come right up to the beach here. And I, it could just be one after another. So, that's really why you come out here. And I gotta say, I love the anticipation. Alright everybody, I made a lure change. I'm going to close out the evening by throwing around this multi-jointed swim bait. Because why not? I have no idea what might be working. If the fish aren't around, they're not around, and I'm not going to catch them anyway. But I'll just give this a toss and see what happens. Well, guys, I think I am going to call it an evening. Kind of disappointing that I didn't catch anything, but I'm used to it. Because to be quite honest, this is how most of my striped bass fishing sessions go. Just coming out for a couple hours in the evening and really not much going on. But it was a picture perfect evening to be out on the beach. Unfortunately, the pictures were all I got. And for whatever it's worth, I'll share those pictures with you guys right in this video. Thank you all so much for joining me and I will see you on the next adventure.